Hey y'all! Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a one brand tutorial on one of my all time favorite drugstore brands, Wet n Wild. I love this brand so much. One, because they are so affordable. They are probably one of the cheapest brands at the drugstore. I'd say them and Elf, but I think Wet n Wild has it. And their products are just really good for the most part. I really love the majority of Wet n Wild products that I've tried. I do have some brand new products today that I have never tried before, that I've never swatched some of them. And I'm just really excited to put them on my face. So some of these will be first impressions, but some of these are products that I already love. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into this video and let's get started. All right, the first thing I'm going to be doing, of course, is my eyes. I always do my eyes first. And to prime my eyes today, I'm going to be using the Photo Focus Concealer. I'm just doing this because most of the time I use concealer to prime my eyes anyway, so let's just keep with tradition, you know? Oh, my brows, girl. Excuse them. Excuse my brows. I don't love the applicator so far. I just feel like it doesn't get a ton of product on there. Seems to have a decent coverage. The finish is very natural. It's not too matte. But it's not too dewy. I really like the finish on this. So I'm liking this concealer so far. Then I'm just going to go into this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is the Dulce de Leche Palette. <sighs> Why am I so bad at opening things? As I was saying, I'm going to go into the Dulce de Leche Palette. And I'm going to go into this top matte banana type shade up here. And I'm going to set down that concealer using that shade. I tried one of these palettes before and I didn't love it for setting up under my eyes, which I'm gonna try it again today, but I think the formula has been revamped since I tried it. So maybe I will like it a little better this time. The one thing I loved it for last time was baking right here under my contour. I loved to use it for that. But I just didn't really love the weight that it looked up under my eyes. But as I have said in other videos, I'm very picky about powders that go under my eyes. I just really don't like to look powdery and I don't like for powders to look too heavy. So I don't really like a lot of powders. But I do like the way that that set down my eyes. Like it looks very natural. I love the way that that looks actually. Alright, now I'm going to start on my eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Walking on Eggshells eyeshadow palette. I love this eyeshadow palette so much. I actually used this eyeshadow palette on my wedding day. I'm pretty sure I just used this eyeshadow palette on my wedding day. I wanted a very natural look, so I went with this palette right here and I loved it so much. Kathleen Lights has a tutorial on her channel. It's a like a bridal tutorial using this and I think it's... I loved it so much. She really inspired my wedding day look. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Crease Brush and I'm going to go into this crease shade right here which looks kind of shimmery in the pan but when you put it on your eyes it doesn't really look too shimmery so I'm okay using this on my eyes. As I was saying, I really love this eyeshadow palette. It's just the shades are so creamy and so pigmented and they're just so natural and beautiful. I just love the way that they look. So this has a slight, slight sheen when you put it in the crease. But it looks good. I really like it. So once I have that color built up to the intensity that I want it, I'm going to go in with the shade that's labeled Eyelid, which is this pinky shade right here. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. If you're looking for a little bit more of a color selection, a little bit more diversity in a palette, you can go with the Comfort Zone palette. That's another great one. Um, I know a lot of people think that's like the best Wet n Wild palette. So you could definitely go with that one. I just wanted to go with this one because it's like a dollar ninety-seven cent or something like that. It's really cheap. I wanted to show that you could achieve like a really pretty look with it. On my wedding day, I went a little more subtle than this, but I really just wanted to kind of intensify the look that I did. I'm going to go back into the Wet n Wild brush. I'm not going to put any additional product on there, but I'm just going to blend those edges out a little bit so those colors really blend together nicely. Then I'm going to take the shade labeled Brow Bone, and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone using this. Alright, that's all we're going to do to the eyes for now. We'll come back and finish the lower lash line later. Now I'm going to move on to my face. 
Okay, so of course the first thing we're gonna do to our face is put on a primer. This is the Photo Focus Face Primer. This says it's supposed to refine pores, fill fine lines, brighten complexion, and even skin tone. So I'm guessing this is gonna be a little silicone-y. We shall see, I've never tried this before. It feels kinda lotion-y. It doesn't have much of a scent. So it comes out white, it looks like lotion. Let's see, okay. So it goes on and it feels like it gets a little thicker as it goes on. I feel like the more you blend it in, the more it kind of feels like those silicone primers, but it doesn't have that light strong silicone feel that a lot of people don't like. So if you don't like that strong silicone feel, I feel like you might be okay with this. It has a slight feel, but not too much. It looks like it did fill in my pores a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely feeling um, a little more silicone-y now. But it did fill in my pores a little bit, and I don't mind the way it feels. I like silicone primers, so I don't really mind those too much. And the foundation that I'm going to be putting on top is the Photo Focus Foundation, and I have the shade Shell Ivory. I'm pretty sure I've used this on my channel before. I've used this foundation a lot. I really like it. I think the color isn't perfect, but... It's fine once it gets blended in and such. I think it's a little pink for me. Obviously, I'm putting a lot of foundation on today. That's just how we're doing it. I'm just going to blend that in using the Fenty Beauty Sponge. This is a little darker than I am. Of course. But... We're going to blend it down my neck a little bit. But holy crap, you guys, I don't think I've ever liked the way that this looks on my skin as much as I like it right now. So that primer must be working. My pores are like not there. I really like this primer. A lot of times I will use a pore filling primer and like it does a good job, but I can still see that I have pores. But like right now, I look like I have no pores. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. <sighs> oh gosh, okay, I'm so excited about this primer. And this primer was obviously not expensive. It's wet and wild. It definitely was not more than $5. It might have been $4.99. I'm so excited. This foundation does not have like full coverage. I'd say it has a medium coverage. I'm not really going to try to build upon it. It's not too sticky. It definitely, I would say, needs to be set. It's a little, little tiny bit tacky, but nothing too serious. But I'm just going to go ahead and go in with this concealer again. This is in the shade Light Ivory. Yeah, I don't like this applicator. I feel like I have to dip in like five times before I can get the amount of concealer that I want. Sorry, I might concealer under my eyes. Jesus. So it's blending out really easily. I'm not really having to put a bunch of effort into it. Wow, that looks really good. <sighs> you guys, I'm so impressed with these products. These face products are so good. The color of the concealer looks really good with the color of this foundation, so I'm loving it. I'm going to go back in with the Dulce de Leche palette, and I'm just going to set up under my eyes. I like the way the powder looks too, which is super- I really was convinced that I was going to hate this powder under my eyes, and I don't. And like I said, I am very picky over powders. The Laura Mercier translucent powder that everyone loved. Not me. Not me. I like to sit where I'm going to contour, that way the contour doesn't look patchy. It's not going on a tacky surface and it skips or anything like that. I just want to talk about this face for one second. I have been having a lot of problem with like textured skin. So I have a lot of texture on my skin right now. And none of these products are emphasizing my texture. None of them. If anything, this is the best my skin has looked with foundation on it in a long, long time. I love it so much and i just reviewed the fenty foundation last week that video is up on my channel right now if you want to go check it out i reviewed that foundation and i liked it but 
It did emphasize the texture on my skin, and this is not doing that. Holy crap. I like these. I'm going to take the bronzer side of this palette, and I'm just going to bronze my face up. Definitely make sure to tap your brush off before you use it, because I tapped my brush off before I used it, and it still went on like a spot. So I think this might be user error. I think I'm not just I'm just not tapping it off enough. I like the color a lot. So maybe it was user error. I don't know. I'm just cleaning up under that contour with some of that yellowy shade. And after I let that sit there for a few minutes, I'm just going to dust it away. Now we're going to use something that I've used about 17,000 times on my channel. We're going to use the Color Icon Blush in the shade Rose Champagne. This is one of my favorite Wet n Wild items that I have. I just love this color so much. It's so natural, which is perfect for me because I love a very natural blush. And it's just this beautiful, rosy champagne color. I've said this before, but this is just one of those blushes that you can pile on and pile on and it never looks like too much. So if you're someone that doesn't love an intense blush, I don't. I love a very subtle blush. Then this is definitely for you. And I also love that it has this slight sheen in it, so you're kind of getting a highlighted look. I'm going to go back into the Walking on Eggshells palette and I'm just going to add a little bit under my lower lash line. So I'm just going to go into the crease shade and I'm going to run that all along my lower lash line. I'm just going to connect that to that outer portion of the top of my eye. Then I'm just going to take a brush that's completely clean and that blend out all of my edges. Then taking the same pencil brush that we used, I'm just going to go into the eyelid shade. And I'm just going to kind of mock what we did on the top of our lid. So I'm just going to drag this about a third of the way out. Taking the brow bone shade and still the same brush, I'm just going to highlight my inner corners. The only thing I don't have from Wet n Wild is a brow product, so I'm just going to quickly go do my brows and then come back. Now that we're done with the brows, I'm going to go in with the mascara. I purposely got the cheapest mascara that they had so I could see if their cheapest mascara worked. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara in the shade Very Black. This is Enhance and Define. I really wanted to choose this one too because it says that it has a small wand and I really like the L'Oreal Telescopic as you guys know I use that mascara a lot too it is very black I love the color just got some on my pupil I like this mascara I mean it's not my favorite must-have mascara in the world but oh god girl girl no okay hold on mayday mayday ah, got a big chunk on. Can you see that? Can you see that? No, that's not cute. That is not cute. R.I.P. Eyebrow spooly. R.I.P. Alright, so this is what my lashes look like after using this mascara. I want to say this was 99 cent, I think. So, super, super affordable. I actually kind of like this. I like mascaras that make my lashes look a little more natural as I really like lengthening mascaras. This is not volumizing, which I do prefer a little bit of volume. And this doesn't really do that, but it does lengthen quite a bit. So I really enjoy that aspect of it. It does kind of remind me of the L'Oreal Telescopic a little bit. I feel like if you really like natural mascaras and you're on a budget, this is a good, this is a pretty good pick, I think. My only kind of oh, about it is the tip I like to kind of brush the product on my lashes and then kind of like flick through them with the end and if you flick through them with this end I don't know if you can see it but it does get a lot of product on that end so that does kind of come off on your lashes and it can get a little bit chunky now we're gonna move on to highlighting I just wanted to quickly mention this I'm not gonna use it today but I do really love this product from wet n wild this is the color icon bronzer it's not a bronzer it's not a bronzer in the shade reserve your cabana this is such a beautiful 
beautiful natural highlight. I also mentioned this in my favorite highlighters video, so if you want to hear me talk more about this, then you can go check that video out. But this is just a very natural highlight. I think it's perfect for brides. It's just if you want to glow from within, this is a nice highlight to go with. But the highlight that I'm going to use today is one that I've never tried before. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. First of all, can we talk about how pretty this packaging is? It's got like this little flower in there. <laughs> it's so pretty. So we're just going to open this up. <laughs> I love it. But I'm just going to go in with a nice little highlighting brush. Get a little bit of this side right here so I don't touch the pretty flower. Yeah, it looks like it might be a tiny bit duochrome. Looks like it's a little peachy, but maybe like a gold shift to it. I really, really love this highlight. Love the packaging so much. So gorgeous. And I love the way that it looks on the skin, which is even more important. It doesn't really emphasize any of my texture. I like a lot. I really like these. Yes. Now we're going to move on to lips. I love, love, love the Wet n Wild lipsticks. And this packaging right here, ignore mine, is so very it's very well loved i have almost every single shade i think that if you were on a budget these are some of the best lipsticks that you can get these are two dollars less than two dollars okay these are like a dollar 97 cent they also have some in even cheaper packaging than this that are like 97 cent i love those too i think both options are fantastic lipsticks for two dollars and under amazing i love them some of my favorite shades are, I think Sandstorm is the name of it, I love Bear It All, that's a beautiful color, and I love Red Velvet. I'm going to be using the liquid lipsticks from Wet Mod. This is called the Liquid Catsuit. This is in the shade Nudist Peach. This does have a different kind of applicator. It has like a dip in the doe foot, so let's see if that's any help. This is one layer of the lipstick. I'm just going to go in with the lip brush and kind of try to smooth it out a little bit. I feel like the top of the applicator kind of made it gather around the outsides of my lips, which obviously not a fan of that. So I'm just going to go in with a lip brush and kind of try to smooth everything out a little bit more. It doesn't take out a lot of product, so you have to dip into it a few times, which isn't a huge problem, but like, preferably I don't have to dip into it a lot, you know? So this is two layers of the liquid lipstick. I've said in other videos that I hate when I have to put more than one layer of liquid lipstick on. It just makes me feel like I have cement on my lips and I'm not a fan of that feeling. I'm just not. So I'm not in love with the liquid lipstick. Um, not in love with it. I do really like the color and I love the color selection that they have for the liquid lips. It's just, I felt like it was a little patchy going on. I had to put two coats for it to be completely opaque and how I would like my liquid lipstick to look. So, mm, it's just not my favorite. I think if you are going to go with a lip product from Wet n Wild, you should get the creamy matte ones. They are amazing. And they also have like 20 colors, so there's plenty of colors for you to choose from, from nudes to dark plums and burgundies. So, I think that you should go to those if you want a nice lip product from Wet n Wild and they are also cheaper. And the final step of our makeup is setting spray. This is the Photo Focus Vapor... Ooh, all they wear. Vaporisateur de Fixation. I am almost done with this bottle. This will be the second bottle that I've gone through of this. I love this setting spray. This is like $4.99, so this is an awesome setting spray for the price. I really love it. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I personally love it so much. For a drugstore makeup, this is incredible. I love the way that this looks from the eyes to even the lips turned out well once I worked with the product a little bit. From the lips to the eyes to the face, everything looks so, so beautiful. 
I really loved pretty much every single product that I put on my face today. My only kind of eh's were the lip. If you're really looking for a cheap liquid lipstick alternative, then this might be for you if you're willing to work with the product a little bit. I really, really loved the face primer. I already knew I loved the foundation, but I've never had the foundation look as good on my skin as it did today after I used that primer. I'm in love with that primer. And I really loved the concealer as well. I really loved every single product that I tried on my face pretty much. So. I'm really excited about this look, you guys. I will put every single product that I use in the description box below along with the prices. So if you want to check those out, you can go down to the description box below. And also, you guys, I have a small giveaway included in this video. These are my favorite Wet n Wild products. I didn't want to include anything like a foundation or a concealer or anything like that because I don't know who's gonna win this and I don't know what shade you are. So I stuck to products that everyone could pretty much use and products that I knew that I already loved. So first is the Rose Champagne Color Icon Blush. As I've said, I love, love, love this blush so much. It's so beautiful, so rosy, and so glowy. It's just beautiful. The second thing is the Walking on Eggshells eyeshadow palette. As I said, I think this is a perfect natural palette. I also included the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. And I also included the Wet n Wild Bare It All Matte Lipstick. So guys, to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what your favorite Wet n Wild product is. And if you've never tried Wet n Wild or you've never had a product from Wet n Wild that you like, so how, then comment down below what you'd want to try for Wet n Wild or what your favorite makeup product of all time is. Comment what you can't live without in the comments down below and you will automatically be entered into this giveaway. Again, check the description box below if you want the rules to enter this giveaway and check the description box below if you want a list of all the products that I used in today's video. Yeah guys I hope that you enjoyed this look that I came up with and I hope that you enjoyed seeing me try out some of these products and kind of tell you a little bit more about them and yeah if you like this video please don't forget to like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos just like this one. Next week's video I think is going to be a makeup tutorial. I haven't really done a makeup tutorial in a long time and I'm kind of inspired by an eyeshadow look that I've seen so I really really want to do that look so stay tuned for that and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one bye Jeremy broke it. What the freak? <laughs> it broke my pole. It's a while ago. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to buy it a pole. Okay. I'm going in with the Walking on Eggshells eyeshadow palette. This is actually the palette. <laughs> I'm gonna. God. Blend it. Blend it. Blend it. Don't my eyes look so ethereal? Tell me. Tell me. Mmm, yeah, that's delicious. That's delicious.